Hello everyone, welcome to a bonus video with Daddy Daughter Card Breaks. My name is Clay. My name is Zach. Um, this is Daddy Daughter Card Breaks. Yeah, I figured I'd shimmy my way into a video somewhere. What was that? <laughs> you know, we're just not even going to worry about that. <laughs> okay, so here's the deal. Zach is with me tonight. We are going to do a bonus video here on this Wednesday. You guys know Wednesdays is our non-sports day. We already released our Pokemon video earlier today. And my son Zach and I used to play a lot of Magic together. We have both uh, won many tournaments over the years. Um, I have kind of gotten back out of it. He is getting back into it once again. And now that he is... Um, 21 years of age, has a great job. He has decided that he is going to uh, get back in full time. He has started getting his decks together and he wants dad to get back into it with him. And I'm just not 100% sure yet, but he um, he's starting to sway me. So he started picking me up some cards uh, to build a deck that I used to play called Tron. And... Uh, well, these are some uh, pretty awesome cards to start with. I know you, so a lot of you guys may not know uh, anything about the game Magic, but I'll just tell you right now, like these two cards here, these are $120 raw a piece. I mean, it's uh, it is a game that, um, well, you can get these for cheaper, but he likes to pimp out his decks, so everything is going to be completely foil. Or completely full art foil, as you can see there. So, um, we've got some packs here that we're going to open. Zach, like I said, he's kind of a uh, he's kind of a big spender these days. So Zach purchased three of the Zendikar Rising Collector Booster packs. These are retail for about twenty four to twenty five dollars a piece, and I picked up three Magic uh, Mystery Boosters which are about $10 a piece. So he's definitely spending more than I'm spending these days because I uh, I had no plans on getting back into it. But, you know, like I said, he's wanting to return the favor to me now after me supplying his decks for so many years uh, with a lot of money and, you know, that sort of stuff. I think he's, he's wanting to uh, return the favor. Yeah, yeah, I got a lot of money to make up for. He's got, <laughs> he's got a lot of money to make up for. So we're going to open these packs right here. We're going to start with these uh, Mystery Boosters, and then we will get into the Zendikar Rising packs. These here, uh, the reason they are a little more expensive than normal, I say a little more, they're actually really expensive, is uh, every card in this is foil, correct? Yeah, every card in there is foil, and you are most likely going to get a full art uh, land card, which are called Expeditions. Gotcha. Uh, they could be either foil or non-foil. And they have enemy and the friend fetch it, fetch lands from uh, Zendikar, the original. So Zendikar they've got set. both versions of them. They have both versions, the, and then they have uh, they have other lands like Cavern of Souls and uh, you know your uh, legacy staples like Wasteland and Strip you. Mine. Okay. So there's a lot of stuff in there, and they have standard cards too. So that's what makes these packs more expensive. So we're gonna start with these here. Um, out of this set here, we're going to be looking for um, Mana Crypt, Mana Crypt, Teferi's Protection, Demonic Tutor, Teferi's Protection. We have a card named Bloom Tender. <coughs> and we also have Ristic Study, which is a common, so we should see at least one of them, maybe. So I'm going to start with these. I bought these packs, so I'll open two of these. Zach opened the second one, and then he bought these, so he'll open two of those. But if you guys don't know anything about magic, maybe you can. Uh, hang out with us on this video to learn a little something. Uh, this is definitely more in the lines of what I would know for gaming uh, purposes. You know, I'm learning Pokemon, but I definitely know this uh, more than what I do Pokemon. So I'd also like to note that each one of these cards, they're going to have the most recent set printing on the card. Right. And they're also going to have the Magic Emblem on the bottom left corner of the card to indicate that they were in the Mystery Booster Pack. Which is this right here. Yes. So each card is going to have the earliest, or not the earliest, <laughs> the latest printing of the edition of the card that you open. So I think the first 11, 10 or 11 cards are commons. 
and then you'll have three uncommons and then either a rare or a mythic rare. Mm -hmm. So, um, so again, you know, we're going to go through our commons here and then the common that is really worth money is the Ristic Study. Um, it'd be worth about $25. Lightning That's Bolt's always worth, uh, about $4. a couple, three or four dollars, even though it's a common. All right, so the first uncommon is a Wooly Thoktar. Then we have Breaker of Armies, Kervix Torch, and the rare is a Stunt Double. And then we have a Foil Witchbane Orb. That's nice. Which is really cool. Um, destroys all curses attached to you, and you have hexproof, so which means you can't be targeted by uh, opponent spells. So I remember playing uh, that in Lantern Control. Yeah, we times. used this card a couple times in a couple decks in the past, so that's really cool. Um, so we'll set the. Now I'm not sure exactly uh, how they did this this set. I don't know if there's a foil in every pack or if there's. I'm not sure either, to tell you the truth. But I do know that uh, there's a lot of different sets in this. Uh, in this particular, uh, I say sets and sets, but it don't make any sense. So we're just gonna. Uh, so yeah, there's there's a lot of cards in this set. Let's go ahead and pop this this sucker open. And go ahead and uh, there's a path to exile. That's really good. Really good card. Now I don't know for sure how <clears throat> they're doing this. So this is an uncommon in a common slot. So they could just have them mixed around. So we'll put that right there. Uh, we have Seraph of the Sun, uh, Call to the Heel, Iron Rune Expedition, First Fear Gargantua, Plague, Rasalka. I'm not good with these older cards. <laughs> they're they're a little before my time. We have Blazing Volley, and I'm familiar with that card. Insolent Neonet, which is uh, it used to be played in Dredge. I don't know if it still is. Uh, Woolborn Behemoth. I think we're in the uncommons now. We may not be actually. Kozlux Predator. Got Hypel Fizzle. Lightning Greaves, which is a really good card in ADH. We have Sadistic Hypnosis. And then a Blue Redder Rare, which is a Prey Caesar Dragon. <clears throat> I don't know what's behind it. It is a foil changeling hero. So I believe there is a foil in every pack. Okay, well that's cool for sure. So we got them cards right there. <clears throat> Alright, so the final pack for the mystery booster. We have Daring Skyjack, Fiend Hunter, Trail of Evidence, Dream Twist. There's an Inquisition of Kozilek, really good card. And then a Sultai Charm, pretty cool. Arcane Sanctum. The rare is Rise the Redeemed. And a Tireless Tracker, hey. that's really, really good. And the foil is a Sheltering Ancient, a Tireless Tracker. Really, really good rare card. All right, so that does it for our three mystery packs. Let's go so, over and see what we got here. Best cards, in my opinion, I'd say is probably the tireless tracker. The tireless tracker, yeah. Inquisition, the path Inquisition, to exile, and the lightning bolt. Lightning bolt, yeah, and the path to exile. So, let's see if we do the top five. Um. I'd say in a certain time time frame of Magic, which Bane Orb was probably a really good for. Yeah, it's not too bad for sure. But I think uh, your four staples mm. right now in Modern are probably the four you've got sitting on the table right there. Yeah, I was just going to see if we could find a top five. Top five? I'm probably going to go ahead and go with that one. Yeah, which Bane Orb's probably <clears throat> played a little more than anything else. All right, so let's get moved on to... All right, so let's go to the, to the big boys. Get these pulled up here. Let's go ahead and put them on the screen. These, like I said, these are some really cool packs. Have some chances for some really nice cards in here. Now, I'm a little more familiar with uh, this set right here than I am the other ones. It's been so long since I opened a magic pack. 
Okay, they're a little backwards now. It used to be a little different. I don't remember exactly how they did this. Okay, so we have a C4 Stalker. We have Tazim Raptor. Now all of the cards on the front are going to be standard playable cards. Uh, Blood Price, Malakir, Blood Priest, Disenchant, Allied Assault, Skyclave, a Pickaxe. We have a Foil Swamp. I might Pretty even cool. uh, toss that in my deck. <clears throat> we have a Full Art Skyclave Relic. We have a Foil my raid construct we have a full art dread worm full art spitfire Legac. Legac. i never heard of that thing before we got a philodar retreat full art <clears throat> oh oh oh, oh. <laughs> canopy ballot and then we have a full art foil soul shatter and then behind that is going to be our token. Drake token. So, are they double sided shot? tokens or just single? They are double sided. So, you have a construct too. That's and a cool. lot of the problems with this set right here, and a lot of people have complained about them. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. There's roll marks on some of these, some of these <clears> packs. Yeah. Now, I'm trying to show you. Yeah, there it is right there. Roll marks on the packs. Now, all of the collector boosters are going to have this problem. <clears> Whenever they were going through the roller and they were sealing the packs. A lot of the cards had uh, roll marks on them. Now it's either too bad. No, it's got to be on the front and the back cards. Gotcha. So that's, all right, that's so really we'll a little bit of problem. Here. All right, so I have a resolute strike, sneaking guide, dauntless survivor, cleansing yes, wildfire. I need that. <clears throat> Tajiru Snarecaster, Vestwood Surge, Sajiri Shelter. This is going to be a flip. Yeah, that's a flip card right there. Sajiri Glacier. And you have a Full Art yep. Foil Mountain. I need that. Now that's and you nice. Have Tazri, Beacon of Unity. That is a Mythic Rare. You can tell that by that orange symbol. I don't know how often they play Tazri in Standard right now, but it could also be played in one of the other formats. Now here he's a lithoforming. Skyclave squid. Canyon Jerboa. Bright climb pathway. Flip uh, flip lands. It's gonna have uh, the black and white. Mm -hmm. Now these cards right here you can either play as a white <clears throat> land or you can play as a black land. And you have a Skyclave Squid. Archpriest of Iona. And then the Drake Hydra token. Yep. So some pretty cool cards there. The pathway is definitely really cool. I don't know how playable they are, but that was uh, <clears throat> that's a new dual land in Magic. The first time I've ever done something like that. All right. So we got one pack left. One pack left to hit a, uh, a gold card in the set. Hope you guys have enjoyed our bonus Magic the Gathering video tonight with me and Zach. All right, we have Tazim, Royal Mage. And again, like I said before, you're going to have them roll marks on the front and the back card. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's going to have roll marks on the very top and almost in the middle of the picture of the card. Then we have Tajuru, Blightbright, Royal Eruption. Strength of Solidarity, Living Tempest, Relic Golem, Soaring Through, actually that's Thought, Soaring Thought Thief, A Forest, so I've got, so you got, your, you got I have, your gen lands there. I do have my gen lands. I need <laughs> one more swamp though, so that's <clears throat> really cool. We have a forest, we have a Magmatic Channeler. We have our foil pathway, and that's really cool. A foil flip pathway. So it's going to flip into a red land. That's what we call is it. So the is it land right there. Red and blue. It is. Uh, okay. <laughs> Skyclave pickaxe, which is one of the cool enchantments or equipments <clears throat> from the 
the set. Canyon Jerboa. We have Phylath World Sculptor as our rare. Now, what's behind it? Oh, <laughs> another Canyon Jerboa. Canyon Jerboa. <laughs> and then we have a foil full art Nisa of Shadowed Bowls. That is pretty cool. That is awesome. That's going to be pretty nice. Nisa Planeswalker it there. It is. So we got a Nisa Planeswalker. That's really nice. So that's the end of it. We didn't hit very big. Nisa's a really good card to hit. Yeah, we didn't hit anything, you know, that would have popped a uh, 200 to $300 card, but that Nisa is really, really cool. That is a really cool Nisa. That, you know, I thought about it, but I don't know if I want to send it in a PSA, see if I can get graded as a, as a 10 or not. I don't know for sure. The centering, I don't know how centering looks. Well, the centering good. looks really good. And, you know, with it being um, full art, it may be, it may be a little heavy at the bottom, but I don't know. You don't actually know. It looks pretty good. Well, it looks pretty good. So, I mean, we, you know, it's a possibility. We can send that in. <clears throat> All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this bonus video. Me and Zach done with magic today. We will definitely do it again here soon. And uh, guys, we will see you next time. See you.